Good afternoon. It's Thursday, October 6th, um, almost 3 p.m. I wanted to uh, make a quick video for our subscribers on how to place a contingent order in the Thinkorswim platform um, to purchase an option. So sometimes you can do this with ETFs or stock, but not everyone knows how to do this with the option. I just wanted to kind of show this. So the, the setup I'm looking for is here in VLO, Valero Energy. And I'm actually looking to get short here because it's you know it's kind of hit here. It's rallied back up. Um, it's uh, coming in on the 618 retracement of this impulse leg down. So, and it's kind of uh, up here. It's pretty bullish the last few days. But uh, so what I want to do is if Valero VLO gets to $21, which is the 618 retracement, I want to buy a put. But I don't want to put buy a put until that happens, and I don't want to have to watch the computer all day for when that happens either. So I'm going to automate this by placing a contingent order. And um, so what I'm going to do, I'm going to go to the uh, trade tab, and I have VLO in here, and I got the option chain up. And I'm looking at the November 17 puts. So when I buy the November 17 put, I want to actually place this at a market order because we don't know what that price is going to be yet. It'll probably be a little bit less because as this as uh, the market moves higher, the puts will be cheaper. So uh, we also want to make this a GTC good till good till cancel because if this this takes more than a day, then you know it may take two or three days before we get to that uh, twenty one dollar mark. So for the contingent order again, let's just clarify this. We want to buy that put if and when VLO gets to twenty one dollars. Okay, so we're going to buy this November 17 put. Market order, GTC. And we're going to click this little cog wheel. And the cog wheel has our order in here. Let's, let's go ahead and buy 10 of them. This is kind of a small trade. These are some cheap options. And we're actually going to risk the entire thing on this one. But so in here, you can set your, your parameters, your order conditions. So the symbol, if VLO, the mark, which is pretty much between the bid and ask, is at or above $21, then place this order. So this is the condition we are setting in order to buy that put. We need VLO to be at or above $21. So we're going to click OK. And now that is in there. You don't really see it right now, but you will in a minute. And um, this is a single order. So we're going to confirm and send, and now you can <clears throat> um, let's go ahead and send and go to our order book down here. So our working order, we see we're going to buy 10 VLO November 17 puts for a market order when VLO, the mark of VLO is at or above $21. So now we're just going to wait. if this, uh, if the LO starts to sort of pull back here and it doesn't get to the $21 mark, then we will just simply cancel that order and look for the next setup. If it does hit 21, the ideal setup was for it to be hit 21 and then retrace and our puts would increase in value and then we would start looking at a stop or, or a, a better target here. So uh, that's how you place a contingent order to purchase an option based on the underlying price of the stock or ETF that you are looking at. Hopefully this helps. If you have any questions, let us know and we'll talk to you later. Thanks.